In this lecture, you will understand the difference between attenuation coefficient, the total attenuation, and half value layer thickness, and how they are related to each other, and how to answer any tricky question in the SPI exam related to this topic. My name is Joe, and I help people understand ultrasound physics and pass the SBI exam. First, we'll start with the attenuation coefficient. Attenuation coefficient is the amount of attenuation when the frequency is 1 MHz and sound beam travel in 1 cm depth. And it depends only on the medium. That means that every medium has its own attenuation coefficient. For example, soft tissue equal to 0.5 decibel per centimeter times the megahertz. The unit for attenuation coefficient is decibel per centimeter times the megahertz. I might ask you a tricky question in the SPI exam and ask you if the frequency increase or the depth decrease, what will happen to the attenuation coefficient? So nothing will happen because the attenuation coefficient depends only on the medium. So attenuation coefficient will change only if you change the medium. So the second one we'll talk about it is the total attenuation. So let's understand what is the total attenuation is. The total attenuation is equal to the attenuation coefficient times the depth times the frequency. The unit for attenuation coefficient is decibel. Attenuation, it depends only on the attenuation coefficient depth and frequency and it directly related to the total attenuation that means when the attenuation coefficient increase the total attenuation will increase when the depth increase the total attenuation will increase and when frequency increase of course the total attenuation also will increase now we'll talk about half value layer thickness half value layer thickness is the distance or the depth that results in reducing the intensity to half of the original value. Because it is the measuring of depth, that's why we use any unit for distance, for example, centimeter or millimeter to measure the half value layer thickness. We know that reducing the intensity to half means three decibel attenuation and if you want to understand how to calculate the decibel you need to watch the video for the logarithm and the decibel and i will leave it for you on the description half value layer thickness depend on two factors the first one is the attenuation coefficient and the second one is the frequency and i put the attenuation coefficient and the medium as if they are one factor because attenuation coefficient depend only on the medium, so half value layer thickness depend also on the medium. Half value layer thickness inversely related to the attenuation coefficient and to the frequency. That means when attenuation coefficient increase, half value layer thickness will decrease, and when frequency increase half value layer thickness will decrease. From here we can tell that the total attenuation is directly related to the attenuation coefficient and the half value layer thickness is inversely related to the attenuation coefficient. So when attenuation coefficient increase, the total attenuation will increase and the half value layer thickness will decrease. So now let's take an example on how to calculate the total attenuation. If the frequency is equal to 4 MHz and sound beam travel to a depth of 5 cm, how much is the total attenuation at 5 cm depth? So you may get a question like this in the SPI exam and they didn't tell you how much is the attenuation coefficient. If they didn't tell you how much is the attenuation coefficient, you need to assume that this sound is traveled in soft tissue and attenuation coefficient in soft tissue is 0.5 decibel per centimeter megahertz. So how to solve this problem? We need to multiply the attenuation coefficients 
times the depth times the frequency. So it will equal to 0 0.5 times 4 times 5. 4 times 5 equals 20. And 20 times 0 0.5, it will be equal to 10 decibels. So the total attenuation in this case will be 10 decibels. Let's take another example. How much the attenuation will be if sound travel in 10 centimeter and the frequency was the same? So we need to multiply the attenuation coefficient by the depth by the frequency. Again, if they didn't tell you what medium, then you need to assume it is soft tissue. And soft tissue attenuation coefficient is equal to 0 0.5 decibel per centimeter hertz. So we we'll multiply 0 0.5 by 4, which is a frequency, and we we'll multiply by the depth, with, which is equal to 10. So 4 times 10 times 0 0.5 will equal to 20. Let's get another example, and in this time, I will change the frequency. I will change the frequency to 6 megahertz. So now the frequency increased. And we have the same depth, which is 10 centimeter. And I didn't say anything about the attenuation coefficient. Then I need to assume that this is a soft tissue. So again, soft tissue attenuation coefficient is 0 0.5. And uh, we have here the frequency 6 megahertz. So we multiply 0 0.5 by 6 by 10. And this will be the total attenuation. 6 times 10 equal to 60. Half. The 60 is 30 decibel. Let's take another example. And in this example, they give you the attenuation coefficient of the medium. Again, if they didn't give you the attenuation coefficient, you need to assume it's a soft tissue, which is 0 0.5. But if they give you the attenuation coefficient of the medium, then you need to use this attenuation coefficient to calculate the total attenuation. So here we have 0 0.1. So we we'll multiply the 0 0.1 by the depth by the frequency. So 0 0.1 by 6 by 10. So how to make it more easy? We we'll multiply 0 0.1 by 6, it will equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times 10, it will equal to 6 decibel. Pay a close enough attention whether the question is asking you about the round trip attenuation or a one-way attenuation. If they ask you about the attenuation of ultrasound beam at a depth of 5 cm, for example, this is a one-way attenuation. But if they ask you about the attenuation of sound beam imaging to a depth of 5 cm, so this is a round trip attenuation. Or also they may ask you sound beam travel to a structure at a depth of 5 cm and reflect back to the transducer. What is the total attenuation? So this is also a round trip attenuation. The round trip attenuation, we need to multiply the depth by 2. So it will be 5 times 2, it will equal to 10 cm. So we need to use the distance of 10 cm to calculate the total attenuation. Another tricky question that they may give you in the SPI exam that they only give you the hard value layer thickness and the depth and they ask you to calculate the total attenuation. For example, if the hard value layer thickness equal to 0.8 centimeter and we need to know the attenuation at the depth of 8 centimeter half layer value equal to 0 0.8 centimeter and half layer value is the depth which is resulting in 3 decibel so 0 0.8 centimeter result in 3 decibel now we need to know 8 centimeter result in how much attenuation so now we need to multiply 8 by 3 and divide it over 0 0.8.
So 8 times 3 divided by 0 0.8. So the 8 will go with the 8. So we'll have here 0 0.1. So 3 divided by 0 0.1 will equal 3 multiplied by 10 and it will equal to 30 decibel. So the total attenuation will equal to 30 decibel. So they may give you another tricky question and uh, they give you the total attenuation which is 20 decibel and they give you the depth which is five centimeter and they ask you for the half layer value. We'll do the same thing. Five centimeter result into 20 decibel and we need to know the half layer value. We know that the half layer value is the depth which will result in three decibel. So we will multiply the three by five and divide it over 20. So five times three divided by 20. Five times three equal to 15. 15 over 20 will equal to 0 0.75. How can I get the 75 very easy? Because 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5 and 7.5 divided by 10 will equal to 0 0.75 centimeter. You may get it in millimeter because 0 0.5 centimeter is equal to 7.5 millimeter. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture.